According to an IDF spokesperson, Israel is allowing the safe movement of the Gaza civilians. Now, this is what the Israelis claim two main roads in the southern territory have been earmarked for the Gazan civilians to be used for a span of just six hours from 10 o'clock in the morning till 4 p.m. local time. This comes after the United Nations warned that the short time that had been given to an estimated 1.1 million people to evacuate from the northern part of Gaza to southern Gaza is simply logistically impossible. In a statement on social media X, the RDF spokesperson has said, and I quote, for your safety, take advantage of the upcoming time to move south from Beit Hanun to Khan Yunus. Now, this map shows the route which has been allowed by the RDF for safe passage. The route is from Beit Hanun to Khan Yunus. The tweet further says that the residents of the beach, sand and west of Olive will be allowed to move to Daldui and Al Salah streets towards Salah Al Din and Al Bahar streets. Let's also now get you some live visuals of what is happening at this moment in the Gaza Strip. Remember, it's the eighth straight day of relentless bombing that is being carried out by the state of Israel. The Strip is under heavy bombardment. More than 6,000 bombs have been dropped by these Israeli fighter jets and these are live scenes. As you can see, there is smoke that is rising up from the apartment buildings and because these visuals are being shown from afar, the reality when you get closer and zoom in is that there are people who are living inside of those homes and apartments. There are civilians, hapless civilians who have got nothing to do with any politics of any kind and any fighting whatsoever. And it is these people who are being bombed out of their existence as Israel pursues its targets of Hamas. And this is what has created a humanitarian disaster unlike any other that has been witnessed in the Palestinian lands in a very long time. The locals in the Gaza Strip are describing this as their second Nakba. A lot of them say that they're making this impossible choice. If they go away, if they try and go away, there is no certainty that they'll be able to reach safely to a place of safety. And if they continue to stay, then what is certain is that they could get pulverized in this barrage of bombs that are being dropped by the state of Israel. Or when the ground invasion happens, they could get stuck and could end up losing their lives. Many people say that it is reminding them of the scenes that took place over seven decades ago, back in 1948, when the Palestinians had been driven away from their homes after massacres. And that is the situation that is repeating all over again. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.